Title update number two for Tomb Raider 1, 2, 3 Remastered has been released and while we have covered the patch notes in a separate video, there are certain things that have been changed that were not covered in those notes. Today we're going to take a deeper dive and look at the differences between the versions. So we're going to start on the title screen. Firstly the game will now load up to the title screen of the last played game instead of always defaulting to Tomb Raider 1. For example, if you played a level in Tomb Raider 3 and then exited the game completely, the next time you load up the remaster, you will boot into Tomb Raider 3's title screen. Also to know that the UK European logo now shows when you have the English language selected instead of the American one. You would have noticed in the patch notes that translations have been updated and improved. An example of this can be seen in the controls if you're playing in French. The translation for tank controls used to be very loosely translated into controls of the tank. This one wasn't a perfect translation and two had an incorrect meaning and it now translates to original controls which is what tank controls are. Moving on then to the home levels. Now I have seen this across socials, people mentioning that certain voiceover lines have been removed. This is apparently so people who play in modern controls don't get confused when in the training level. However, it was confirmed by World of Tomb Raider on X that these lines were removed on Sony, Microsoft and Nintendo's request and that only users on PC have the full version with all the lines present. The lines that are removed refer to D-pad and pressing action buttons. Now, as we're aware, Modern Controls has two action buttons. One is known as action and the other known as secondary. You can see on your screen now all the lines that are said within the levels. Lines with the red cross next to them are the ones that have been removed. And to be clear, these lines have been removed on consoles only. In terms of character model and outfits, Lara now has a longer braid and its texture is not stretched like in the previous versions of the remaster. What you can see on your screen now is a side-by-side -side of Lara's bubble braid and you can see on the launch and title update one version on the right that there is seven bubbles within the braid. The texture of each bubble is also stretched. In title update 2, there are 10 bubbles within the braid and they are more rounded and therefore give Lara a slightly longer braid overall. Also in terms of character models, enemies now have glowing eyes. An example of this can be seen right at the start of St. Francis Folly with the two lions. You can see here while they are in the darkness, you can see their eyes really clearly. Going back to Lara then, as you are aware in the patch notes, two outfits were added. These were the bloody Lara outfit and a new outfit for the Nightmare in Vegas bonus level. In terms of Nightmare in Vegas, this leopard print catsuit replaces the original one when playing this level. This outfit is exclusive to the Nightmare in Vegas level and can't be worn in any other level unless you're on PC and you swap the files around. There is a link on how to do this in the card above. The Bloody Lara outfit is slightly different in that it was present in title update number one, but it's not usable in any way. However, it can be seen. It has also been updated for title update number two. So for this, we are going to go all the way back to the launch version of the game and the T-Rex battle. And what you can see here is once you're killed by the T-Rex, you can just see Lara's normal character model. There are no cuts or anything like that on her remastered model. If we go into the original graphics though, you can see that Lara's model does have cuts across her. Now in title update number one, we can see that Lara has her normal Tomb Raider 1 character model with no cuts or anything. However, once we are killed by the T-Rex, cuts now do appear across various parts of her body. In title update number two, this model has been changed. 
Lara now has less cuts across her body and you can see this particularly on her right leg. In title update number one, both of her thighs had cuts on them, while in title update number two, only her left thigh has the cut. Photo mode has had a little bit of an improvement. Title update number one removed the ability to pan the camera up and down using the left and right trigger on an Xbox controller. That's L2 and R2 on the PlayStation. What you can see here is that I've put my Xbox controller on the screen for reference for you. As of title update number one, you had to physically move the camera by tilting it up and down and then moving it using the left stick. And by using the triggers, you were able to move Lara around the play space. Now, as of title update number two, you can pan up and down as it's been re-added. This has been assigned to the tabs. So if you're in the field of view and roll tab, you can use the left and right trigger to pan the camera up and down. If you're in the outfit change, weapon and pose tab, then using the triggers won't pan your camera up and down. That is where you can move Lara around the play space by holding the triggers and using the left stick. So for anybody asking, oh, you still can't pan up and down, you can, it's assigned to the tabs of photo mode. And finally then, we're just going to cover a little bit to do with the levels throughout the three titles. Various levels have had improvements to their skyboxes, including Tibet, Venice, and Lara's home itself. And you can see examples of this on your screen now, comparing the differences from the launch version, title update number one, and title update number two. The lava textures in Natla's Mines have been improved in title update number two, and you can see the differences between the versions on your screen now. And also the slope in the Great Pyramid now leads to the slope that starts unfinished business, which makes the transition from the Tomb Raider 1 main game to the expansion pack more seamless. And you can actually see this slope by moving the camera in photo mode. This top slope is the end of the Great Pyramid and the bottom slope is the one at the start of unfinished business. So that's about it then for things that have been updated within title update number two in Tomb Raider Remastered. If you enjoyed this video, found it interesting or learned something, let me know in the comments below. If you found other things as well that I haven't covered in this video, I'd love to have a chat with you about them. So again, leave them in the comments. Feel free to share this video around. And if there is any more things within Tomb Raider Remastered that get found, future news or updates, I will bring these to you as soon as I possibly can.